I'm given three sides of a triangle and I'm trying to find an angle. So that's definitely going to be law of cosines. Now let me try to draw on this thing. Uh, so I'm going to use the form of the equation c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine c. And you probably have noticed by now it doesn't really matter what you label a, b, and c. The thing that you're finding the cosine of, in other words, the angle, is always opposite of the side that's being squared, right? c squared cosine c. If this were cosine a, this would be a squared over here. And then the other two sides are just a and b, right? Yeah. All right, so let me fill in the information that I have. So c squared is 17 squared equals a squared. Again, it doesn't really matter which one I call a and b. 28 squared plus 15 squared minus 2 times 28 times 15 times cosine squared. Okay, now here's where sometimes students get into trouble. I have to subtract these over first, and then I'm going to divide by this, right? Because this is being multiplied. So I have 17 squared minus 28 squared minus 15 squared equals negative 2 times 28 times 15 times cosine squared. I know this must be very exciting to watch here. So I'm going to divide both sides by negative 2 times 28 times 15. And of course, it ends up over here. 2 times 28 times 15. Now, this is, of course, this is what cosine of C is. So really, I want the inverse cosine. I'm going to write that down. And I'm going to enter this into my calculator all in one shot. Oh, it's going to be very exciting. Um, 28 squared minus 15 squared. I hope you can still read it. It's getting a little messy here. Over negative 2 times 28 times 15. Again, I'm going to enter this right in the calculator in one shot. So hang in there. So here you can see I have entered the entire thing into my handy-dandy Desmos scientific calculator. And there it is. And it calculated it for me. 31, I think, to the nearest tenth. It said 31.0 degrees. And that's all there is to it.